Okay, what I want to do in this lecture is show you an example of a real research study that's published in a peer-reviewed journal. And think about the steps that you need to go through and think about those some of those eight questions uh, that you should ask yourself to evaluate a regression. Now this paper is in a journal called the Review of Regional Studies volume 35 number 2 2005 and the Review of Regional Studies is a regional science journal and regional science is the combination of economics and geography it's uh, normally either when a geographer evaluates an economic type question or, a, or more usually at least in my experience and uh, my reading it's when an economist thinks about a question involving space, location, or geography. And so in this study entitled Do Ge Geographic Entry Restrictions Increase Car Prices? Mike Walden, Michael Walden, who is a professor at North Carolina State University in Raleigh, North Carolina, is investigating laws in some states that allow for the restriction of the number of car dealers of a certain type. For example, there might be a law saying that you can only have one Honda dealer in a five county area, something like that. And he's asking, well, the, the theory of economics would suggest that the fewer suppliers you have of a product, supply is lower, this should cause the prices to be higher. So he's testing this idea. And it kind of makes sense. If there's only one place to buy a certain car, kind of car from, maybe it'll make the price higher. So he's testing this idea. So the first page here is a title page where you put your name, your title, and an abstract. This abstract is very short, telling people in the briefest terms, what are you doing, why should we care, and what did you find? And on the next page here we see the uh, let me zoom in a little bit here so you can see a little better we see the introduction where Dr. Walden briefly tries to hook us tries to get us interested in the topic and talks about uh, briefly what he's doing and why this paper addresses the potential harm governments can do to consumers through the restriction of competition in a retail vehicle market. He briefly mentions a couple of studies here, doesn't talk about them in detail because this is just an introduction, and briefly tells us why this study is important. So we already kind of see what's going to happen, and also something that's really good form, I think, is to tell people the plan of the paper, what is going to happen in the next few sections. So you can already see in your mind what's going to happen. So that's the introduction. Now on the second page starts the literature review. A little bit more detail about the law and which states have the law and starts uh, explaining the situation. Also starts talking about what some other studies or sources have talked about finding. A Florida study found 29 percent of proposed new auto dealerships in the state were denied. So you could not open another dealership of a certain kind. So he's making the case that this really does happen. And so now he t discusses three previous studies. Smith is one study, Eckerd, and Rogers. So he's discussing briefly what did these other studies do and what did they find and what can we learn from them? Exactly what you should do in a literature review. So then he summarizes what these three previous studies found and now he's talking about what he's going to do next. Here's his theoretical model. Theoretical model, he has a demand curve, he has a supply curve, he combines them together into what's called a reduced form equation. Don't worry about the details. Uh, that's okay. But his equation looks like price is a function of several things. This is the theory. 
then he talks about how are we going to make this a little more uh, easy to swallow what are the variables that I'm going to use he says well income of people in an area might affect the price gas prices could insurance prices since these are complements things that go along with cars sales taxes affect the price people have to pay uh, the population of young people and old people household size internet availability all these things might have an effect on price and then let's go to the next page it says table one defines the variables and their sources he's giving us the information we need to answer question three of the eight questions is the data set reasonably large and accurate he tells us where the data is coming from gives us a feel for uh, what the variables are and what they mean also he's giving us a, a feel for are all the obviously important variables included in the equation and he tells us that he is just looking at 2003 Honda Accord LX's this way we can focus on the effect of the geographic restrictions more than all the other possible characteristics of a car so just allows us to focus on the geographic entry restrictions but of course he has a lot of other variables so he tells us here also replic replicating what Rogers did I'm using these variables so now he tells us the effects of the variables that he thinks we're going to see hypothesizing the signs of the coefficients and he goes through and tells us why now here he tells us the effect of gas price will depend on the net result of two effects that are moving in opposite directions he says well gasoline price could raise the price of a car or could decrease so I don't know what the effect will be and that's fine but he reasons it out now we see the table this is good form you should have this in every study that you do telling the variable name what the variable means and uh, the year and the source you want to know the source of this data and at the bottom he tells us the sources with these subscripts autoprice.com mapquest census.gov etc and so you always want to have a table like this so people know uh, where the variables came from the only thing I might add in a table like this although I'm sure that Dr. Walden has this in the text are the units is the price in dollars or thousands of dollars is the gas price in dollars or cents uh, it's it's helpful to have it all in one place and but I don't do it all the time but it's, it's just a helpful suggestion now so this is the table of the variables and the sources and again the years and the units are, are helpful to have also moving on to the next page here is more technical information about the car that we're studying here the Honda LX model then after the tables uh, we see uh, where Dr. Walden is continuing to look at the variables one by one and hypothesize the sign of the coefficients moving on to the next page going through each variable still also discussing what um, how this relates to the other papers that uh, he mentioned in the literature review tying back to things that we've already seen is good form now the key variable what I usually call the hook variable for Dr. Walden is the variable called RMA have this means do they have restrictions on the number of dealers yes or no a dummy variable now also we have to look at this second variable here which is an interaction variable this is a dummy variable multiplied times another variable now we saw this in lecture one where we were looking at the price of cars horsepower horsepower was a continuous variable and then we had a dummy variable for domestic or foreign car and we multiplied those two together and this is similar to what Dr. Walden is doing here and so when we come back we'll continue looking at this paper 
and continue looking at some of the parts of a regression paper.